Dear students, now we are going to discuss different types of image file formats in detail. So in general, image file format is mainly used to represent the digital images. Simply we can say it represents the storage in which the image data can be stored. Okay. So it is mainly used to store the digital images in a certain format. So here this file format can have two important portions. One is header, another one is image data. So in this header, we can have that information like the type of images. Type of images means whether it is a grayscale image, binary image or RGB color image. So next we can have the size of the image and then the file format. So next portion is all about the image data. It contains the original image details. Okay. So this file format can be broadly classified into two types. One is raster image files. The next one is vector image files. In this raster image files, the image can be constructed by using a series of pixels. So here we are talking about the picture elements. So whatever images we are taking using a phone, everything is coming under this raster image files. Okay. So here it is constructed by using a series of pixels. The next one is vector image files. In this, that image can be constructed using proportional formulas like mathematical formulas. For example, we can say the Photoshop document, encapsulated postscript that is EPS document, PDF. Okay, so scanned files, everything coming under vector image files. Here the JPEG, PNG, GIF and TIFF, this all are coming under raster image files. Okay, so next the raster image files cannot be resized. If you are going to resize, definitely it will affect the quality of that image. So it is not suitable. So resizing the raster image file is not suitable. Okay. So if you are going to resize the raster image files, definitely it will affect the quality of that image. So here in this vector file, resizing is possible because it is based on some mathematical proportional formulas. So its size can be varied, scaled up, scaled down. So but it cannot affect the quality of the image. Okay. So here the raster image files are resolution dependent. Here it is resolution independent. Raster image files are larger in size. Here the vector image files are smaller in size. That's why we prefer to transfer the document in terms of PDF. Correct. So next raster files are quicker to display. So we, it can be quickly opened. But here in this vector image files, it is slower to display. Okay. Let's take the overview of the important image file formats. First one is JPEG. That is Joint Photographic Experts Group. So sometimes it can be denoted as .jbg as well, right? So it is a 8-bit image. So here each pixels can be represented using 8 bits. So it is the most widely used lossy compression format. So here this is very important point. The remaining PNG or KIF, this all are the lossless compression methods. But here in this JPEG, we are using lossy compression. But it can be used for larger image size. So we can easily compress the larger image size into smaller size. And then we can transmit the data from one place to another place. So here when we are expecting a quality at that time we cannot use this JPEG. So it is a lossy compression method. So next one is PNG that is portable network graphics. So here we are using lossless compression format. In this one, we can get a sharper web quality images. So maximum websites, they are using this PNG files only because it has lossless compression as well as sharper data quality. So it can be used with 8 bits or 24 bits representation. So each pixels can be represented with this 8 bits values or 24 bits values. Okay. So next one is GIF that is graphics interchange format. So simply we can say that GIF. So here also we are using lossless compression format. It can support both animated as well as static images. That is the major advantage of this GIF. Okay. So animation is possible only with this GIF. Not with that 
jpeg okay so here 24 bits are used to represent a pixel value so it provides a high quality animated images for web page ads and also provide less file size next one is tiff tiff means tagged image file format so here it is a larger raster image format so it is having a large image size and also it has lossless compression so we can preserve the original image so here we can use the stiff format to represent the remote sensing data okay so next one is bmp that is bitmap image file simply we can represent dot bmp it was developed by microsoft for windows okay so for window files can be represented with this bmp with high quality there is no compression loss okay and one more file is there that is what raw file type so that can be represented as dot raw so it is the raw file format whichever camera sensors we are using based on that we can get this image